Hey, Thomas Tapp here, and in this video, in the Parkour Academy series, I'm going to be breaking down uh, certain parts of a move that a lot of us have trouble with, especially at the beginning, and that's the parkour roll. We get a lot of questions on how do I avoid hitting my hip bone, which is right here, which is a common error or common uh, problem with the parkour roll, and then also hitting my shoulder. I'm getting plenty of questions on how to improve on this, so I really want to break this down and show you ways that you can you know, solve this issue. All right, first let's break down how we solve the issue of hitting our hip when we roll over. So if you see here, when we're rolling, you roll pretty much almost on that hip bone. You don't want to hit it, but the reason why we hit it is because it's right there close to our butt muscle or our glutes where we're supposed to be hitting. So at times you can rub into this. Now, the best ways I've found to avoid hitting the hip bone when you're coming down is uh, two things. First thing is tucking tight. You want to have a nice tight tuck. What I found is if you're rolling and you're tuck, your knees are close to your chest, it curves this hip. It curves up so this hip bone right here avoids getting hit and you go straight to that that butt. So what I realized is whenever I was rolling and I was hitting my hip bone, I, was, I wasn't tucking tight, so I was loose. So I was more like this, coming over and hitting like that. And what you can do to play around with this is get down in this position like you would when you finish a roll and then roll back on your back and try rolling up with your legs tucked real tight to your chest and then try it with your legs not tucked tight, so here. You'll see most likely that when your legs are out like this, they're not tucked tight, you're going to hit that hip bone. Now another thing is the way you roll. For example, some of us like to roll more over our spine or straight, and some of us like to roll more to the side. Now play around with these two different positions. What I found is for me personally, rolling more to the side helps me avoid hitting that hip bone. When I roll, when I roll more straight over, I tend to hit that hip bone. So what I want you to do is, because we're all different, um, some of us might prefer to roll more straight over and it avoids a hip bone. Some of us might prefer to roll more to the side and it avoids a hip bone. So I want you to play around with each of these rolls. So try run straight, kind of straight over. And then I want you to try one more to the side. and see which ones work for you. What I've noticed is for me, like I said earlier, is just going more to the side where my legs land in this position. When I come up, it's just, uh, it helps me avoid that hip bump. And uh, another thing with this is just, you have to practice it and practice it different ways. It took me a while to get comfortable with my roll, especially on concrete. It took, uh, you know, days and days and days and months to really dial down my roll. So I wouldn't expect, don't expect you know, to just go out and get your roll comfortable the first day. It's gonna take time and a little bit of effort. So let's break down how to avoid the shoulder. Now, the things I've seen with the shoulder, usually what it is, whenever we hit, is we're either not absorbing properly with our arms or upper body, or we're not tucking our head tight enough to allow ourselves to roll over that shoulder muscle or this back muscle. For example, if we're not absorbing properly with the arms, we're just gonna go, they'll just collapse and go straight down to that shoulder. So you really want to use your arms here to go down and lay down nice and smooth on this part of your shoulder or your back muscle. Uh, the other thing is, of course, if you have your head open like this when you're going down, you'll see that your shoulder won't tuck in. So you'll go here and hit. So we need to tuck our chin down and our head needs to go down very tight so we can roll over very easily. So if you see here, you go, look towards your armpit, tuck that chin nice and tight. And you'll see it just automatically puts that, that shoulder or that back muscle in the position to take the roll. And another thing is if you're, say you're taking a huge drop and you notice that you hit your shoulder when you're taking big drops to rolls, 
it could be that your legs aren't built up enough to take the impact. So when you jump off of a high obstacle and your legs just collapse underneath you, you're probably gonna hit your shoulder, hit other parts. So that could be another thing. Or if you're not using the proper technique for your roll. When you start jumping off obstacles, you're gonna to wanna to start using the reverse blocking technique. And uh, the guy I got this from was Levi Muenberg, and uh, he learned this from Sebastian Foucault. And it's just a great technique to use. It's an advanced roll. You know, once you start jumping off of higher obstacles, you wanna use this. And my brother explains this in our old parkour roll tutorial. If you wanna see uh, more on reverse blocking, check that out. Or you can look on YouTube for Levi Muenberg's tutorial. It's very detailed and very, very good. So these are some techniques that you can use to avoid hitting your shoulder, avoid hitting that hip bone. It's all about playing around and seeing what fits best for you. Now, if you have any other questions or you want to do a specific tutorial on anything, feel free to leave a comment below. You know, subscribe to the channel because we're going to keep on bringing more videos like this to you. And as always, train safe.